Last time we worked on the 3000 GT, we started pulling the engine and we pretty much had everything disconnected from the top. We needed to disconnect everything from the bottom. I got distracted and worked on some lights because lights are pretty. And now we're back at it. We got the transmission disconnected and that's what we're picking up today. Also, please subscribe. I'm running into some small issues. So the transmission is fully disconnected. There's a, you can't see it, some of that, but when I wiggle it, the whole thing is loose, pretty much what I'm trying to say. The issue is I can't get it to drop down the bottom. I have the fender well taken out, that was already taken out. It hits right here when I try to pull it back this way, and then when I try to drop it down, it like catches on the middle of the transmission and doesn't want to fall down. So it acts like it needs to go more that way, but it physically can't. And when I try to get it more that way, it just doesn't work. I don't know what I'm trying to explain, but I'm just telling you, I'm struggling. One hour later. I'm not having any more luck with the transmission. For some reason, it just doesn't want to come. So I'm gonna attach the engine hoist, slowly start to lift the engine out and see if that frees up the transmission enough to pop out. So let's go. I am the coolest person in the world. This is awesome. But my goodness, there's so many lines and everything in here. This is just an absolute mess. I can't wait to clean some of this up. These brake lines along the side, we're gonna limit those down to just two, one at the front and back, because right there, this module is gonna be replaced so I can delete the ABS, because it doesn't hang anywhere anyway. This all badly needs a clean. We're gonna repaint the engine bay, just try to tuck as much of this up as we can, fix any wiring issues that we see. My goodness, this is, this is exciting. This is where I was wanting to get. Now I feel like I could start making real progress. I mean, we took an engine out and the transmission out, but now I feel like we could do real progress. But it is so cool to have this engine out. It is a mess as well. I mean, this is supposed to be black. It's only black where there's the oil stains on it. A lot of these parts are gonna be individually taken off, cleaned up and repainted because some of them have a bunch of surface rust like these and they need it. As well as these top covers, going to be getting a fresh coat so they look nice and shiny. All this needs to be taken off. This will be mounted, I got a mount over there, so we're not just gonna be dealing with it hanging, but on the back end. Now, I am a little bummed, so I had something to come and replace this, this whole entire assembly, but it just, it's not even through processing yet, and I ordered it over a month ago, so that, that's kind of a bummer. I might shoot him an email to see where this is at, because I really want this piece. But other than that, it's just taking things apart, cleaning them up, getting it back together, and working right so we don't have to pull this engine out ever again. It's a new day, and it means it's time to clean the engine and the engine bay. Let's go. That was weird.
We have a bunch of stuff drying out now. The engine's drying out, transmission, all these extra parts that needed to be clean. So while we're waiting for these to dry, we're gonna go ahead and start tackling the engine bay itself. This one is gonna be a bit more difficult because I can't bring the pressure washer all the way in here, so we're gonna have to do everything by hand. Pretty much what it's gonna entail is cleaning up all the way around the edges, making sure all the bolts are away, and then starting to dive into moving everything out, wiping everything down, getting it as clean as possible so we can get this prepped for painting. That's how close I am to just saying heck it and spraying the engine bay down while sitting here. There are so many hoses and everything in the way, it's just gonna be good night. It's gonna take a long time to clean. Not to mention the fact that that is caked with grease and all these have dirt so much in little small nicks and corners that, man, it's just gonna take a while. So I might roll it, roll it out. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. The issue is I don't have any axles in the front, so we'll see. Update time, I found some Twizzlers, that's pretty heckin' awesome. Anyway, about the car. So we got it cleaned out, and most of it is driving, but holy cow, look at this rat's nest of just vacuum lines and wires and everything, that's a disgusting mess. This side is not as bad, and we're actually going to clean a lot more of this out. So there's no AC on this car, there's no pump even attached to the engine, so we have all these extra lines that are running, and maybe sometime down the road I do want AC, but we're talking like years down the road. So for the time being, we're gonna go pull all these lines out and put them in storage for later on. And then we're gonna go ahead and finally tackle that brake thing that I've been talking about for the past two and a half minutes. So let's go ahead and get started in the AC and then move to the brakes. We got all the stainless steel lines in to replace the ABS system. There are all these lines in the back. Still need a little bit of tucking there on the side. 
and up here they're just dangling right now because we are going to start prepping this for paint actually and what this entails is we need to pull everything off the sides and off the top of the back only this top section where the actual paint is showing where this firewall is and they have the heat shielding I'm not going to worry about anything back there because it won't be seen and there's only tiny pockets that are actually white the other thing I need to take out are the headlights they don't look too complicated a little bit of a mess around where the motor is but the rest hopefully they should just pop out because when they're up you could see all inside there so I'd like to have that covered in black plus there is some rust right here so in order to fully be able to fix this I'll need this out to access it best but that's the entire spiel I'm mostly concerned about this back corner where there's some rust hopefully I'll be able to fit a wire brush and wheel in there on a drill I'm hoping so fingers crossed that that works out otherwise we're gonna have to have to have a pain of a time trying to sand that down so anyway let's get to work yanking everything off the sides taped up and ready to start painting now is it perfect absolutely not but I don't think you guys were here for perfection because my motto is never settle for anything less than good enough and this is just below good enough so that's good enough all right but in all seriousness we did sand down everything we removed a bunch of rust with the wires or with the wire brush same with over there in the yonder corner section everything else is taped up the only things exposed are brackets that can be painted um, all the wiring is either tucked away or I'll pull it away as we're painting in that section mostly with the wiring harness right here. I can't quite tape this off because it's just right in the way because the fuse box is right here. So I can't just like relocate it all super easily. So long story short, I'm just gonna move that out of the way as I paint that section.
got the engine bay painted and it's actually looking pretty good, a lot better than I was expecting. So it's all blacked out now. The downside was I didn't quite have enough clear to go over everything, so I did hit all the edges that are gonna be seen and touched a lot more like on here, around the sides, some of the fender wells here, this side as well, but I wasn't able to get all the way down along the frame here and across there, but it still got blacked out and it looks so much better. You can kind of tell, but I did add a metallic flake as well to give it a little bit of pop because I just think it looks that much better when you do. But overall, I am incredibly happy with how this turned out. Now I do have totally realistic expectations for what's gonna happen with the paint. If it starts to flake off over time down the road, wouldn't be surprised at all but the white paint that was in there was in such bad condition that anything that I did would look better. And knowing that sometime down the road I am planning to paint this car once I do the whole wide body kit and everything that's gonna make it look super good, having a black engine bay, especially one with the metallic flake that we have, will just offset or complement any color that we put on the outside of the car. So I wanted to get this done while we had the chance because there is no better time to do it than when the engine is out. So long story short, since the engine was out, no matter what I did to the engine bay to paint it, it would be an improvement with an opportunity that I wouldn't have any time down the road without pulling the engine back again. So it was something that I really wanted to do and happy that I did it. Because my goodness, that looks good. I mean, you could even see some of the reflection right now that is that's a nice paint job i'm proud of that one solid seven out of ten in the meantime i've also been painting other parts as well the intercooler piping i've been doing black some of the trays here i've been doing black pretty much anything i've been doing black some rust correction over here getting that all ground off and then repainting it the heat shields have been done black just accent things like that because once we do get the engine back in now that the engine bay is black the silver would stand out a lot more and a lot of it was starting to get pretty rough and needed a good going over a paint again after getting some of the old rust off. So that's where we're at right now. Guess you forgot to film an outro. It was me. All right. Anyway, that's how we're going to end the video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to do the usual dislike, unsubscribe, hit in the comments. Bye.